Hello everyone! So in sticking with the theme of last week's video, I'm painting another background for Moswin. Instead of doing another outdoor scene though, I decided to paint the inside of the Temple of Nephthys. The patron goddess of Newt is Nephthys, so of course the temple is going to be dedicated to her. I looked back at my old notes from when I was just developing this concept and I discovered that I had originally written it to be Sekhmet and somewhere along the line it got changed. I actually think it works though because Sekhmet's cult center was in Memphis which is a kind of a major city and the whole point of Mute is that it is very much not a major city. It's small and insignificant and just generally unremarkable in every way. Um, so since Nephthys didn't have an official center but she's still an a major well-known deity, she's kind of the perfect patron goddess for Newt. I considered trying to paint the statue of Nephthys in color, the way the paintings on the outside of the temple are, but there is a problem with that because it always looks to me like they're just other characters randomly floating on the wall and it's weird. So to avoid that, I decided to paint the statue all gray so it looks like it's been carved out of stone. It still looks quite cool in my opinion, maybe a bit too cool. I don't know how realistic it is that such a small and insignificant town has such an impressive temple, but it seems to me that if the people of Newt were going to put a lot of time and resources into one local project, it would probably be the temple. I also realized after I'd finished the painting that the designs on the columns uh, are not all the same. Um, I was about to freak out and scrap the entire thing, but I I decided to leave it. It's not too conspicuous and I figured I could actually use that as a little running joke. Uh, like at some point somebody painted one of the columns wrong and Steph Mott just hates it. It drives her crazy and everybody else basically doesn't notice it. I thought it could be kind of funny and more importantly would save me from having to paint this entire background again. The whole painting took over 2 hours and 20 minutes, but I think it'll be worth it. I'll be using this background quite a lot, especially later. I've started somewhere in the middle of Moswan's story, so I'm going to have to go back and start at the beginning just to explain things. And So here's the finished background. I tried to edit it a bit to make the yellow seem a little darker and less like it was drawn 
in highlighter. I might have made it worse, but I have quite a bit of time to figure that out before I actually have to use these backgrounds in an animatic. Uh, so this is Stefmot. Uh, she's one of the priestesses at the temple. I don't know what's going on in the scene, but I wanted to see what the background looked like with the person in the frame. Now this is an actual frame from a scene near the beginning of the story. Um, I actually like this one quite a lot. This drawing is actually the reason I decided to paint this background specifically because this is where the scene takes place. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I have a video planned for next week, but I promise I'm working on another animatic, which I'm actually really looking forward to. If you want to see more of this type of video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Bye!